was the crown filmed. The grand country estates and stately homes that stand in for Buckingham Palace, Highgrove, et al. in the new season of the crown. Perhaps unsurprisingly, there is no singular country house that could be used to stand in for Buckingham Palace, with its grand reception rooms, ornate banqueting halls, and rarely glimpsed bedrooms. Instead, the producers use a combination of different properties, each standing in for a different aspect of the royal residence. The foreign office-owned Lancaster House has been used multiple times, with its gilded balconies and high ceilings being a perfect stand-in for staterooms during diplomatic scenes. The Bing family home of Watherham Park is used as the Queen's private audience room, where she meets with her prime ministers weekly. But it is Wilton House which appears most regularly with its stunning double cube room providing a particularly grand backdrop with its cavernous ceilings and elaborate wall panels. While its highly recognizable exterior cannot be mimicked, the gardens and walkways of the Queen's Royal Residence in London have been duplicated by using Greenwich Naval College and Moor Park. One of the shining jewels in architect Sir Christopher Wren's crown, it is unsurprising that the grounds of Greenwich Naval College have been consistently used in place of Buckingham Palace's courtyard where guests are often greeted. It has previously stood in for Buckingham Palace in the Oscar-winning film The King's Speech. Meanwhile, the Grade II listed gardens of Moor Park serve to mimic the sprawling greenery of the palace grounds. The Italianate-style mansion just outside of London gets a lot of airtime in the upcoming season of the crown, being used for both Downing Street and Balmoral. Built in the 18th century, it was designed by architect Sir William Chambers, who also worked on London's Somerset House. Its interiors were used for Margaret Thatcher's cabinet portrait photo shoot, with nothing changing, bar the artwork on the walls, as well as for some of the bedrooms at Balmoral, during the scenes in which Princess Diana is tested by the Windsors. As the home of Prince Charles, Princess Diana, and Princess Margaret, Kensington Palace is an important setting for Season 4 of The Crown. It was brought to life by the very elegant and Grade 1 listed Brockett Hall in Hertfordshire. The 18th century country pile is perhaps best known for housing two Prime Ministers, Lord Melbourne and Lord Palmerston, but has also been used numerous times as a film set, most notably for The Queen, as well as the BBC adaptation of Pride and Prejudice, starring Colin Firth. Purchased by Sir Matthew Lamb, first baronet in 1746, he commissioned architect Sir James Payne to work on its design, creating an elegant and impressive entryway with a grand staircase as well as celebrated gardens. So celebrated, they are Grade II listed. This Grade II listed Neopalladian wonder serves as the perfect casting for the country residents of Princess Anne and Gloucestershire. Rotham Hall, completed in 1754, has passed through the hands of the Bing family over the centuries, and is today owned by the ninth Earl of Strafford, William Robert Bing. The breathtaking property has not only served as a location in The Crown, but has also starred in ITV's Mr. Selfridge, Alan Hollinghurst's The Line of Beauty, and 2004's Vanity Fair. Not only that, it's where the Crown Prince of Greece chose to host his pre-wedding reception for 1,300 guests two days ahead of his 1995 wedding to the former Marie Chantal Miller, today the perennially elegant Crown Princess of Greece. There's not a lot to dislike about the elegant cream-colored grade two listed 18th century manor in Well End, Forumwood with its elegant porch reminiscent of one that might be found in America's Deep South. While in reality, Clarence House is a stone's throw from Buckingham Palace, when it comes to filming The Crown's fourth season, High Cannons is a stone's throw from the studios at Elstree, where many of the show's regal interiors are painstakingly recreated. This magnificent Grade II listed palace of a place has been in the family of its current owners, the Earl and Countess of Normanton, for six generations. From architectural drawings, it has been ascertained that the house, which is on the cusp of Hampshire's New Forest and Dorset, 
was designed by the famous Wyatt brothers, namely Samuel Wyatt. In the 19th century, the house brimmed with art, with many pieces by Sir Joshua Reynolds, the founder and first president of the Royal Academy. Although it is not open to the public, it prospers as a location for private events and filming. It was also used as a location in Mansfield Park. The Crossley family seat, the beautiful Somer Leighton Hall in East Anglia, does a fine job at playing Sandringham in the new series of The Crown, easily standing in for the jolly Norfolk abode that the royal family retreat to every year for Christmas. Celebrated as one of the finest Victorian stately homes, some of the most famous architects of the period worked on it, including Prince Albert's star architect John Thomas, who famously worked on the Houses of Parliament, and Volumey, who was originally touted to design Big Ben. Augustus Pugin, of course, got the job in the end. With a splendid ballroom and charming library, the Netflix set designers had plenty to work with to create the cozy royal bolt hole. While the exterior shots were filmed at Balmoral's Looky Likey, Ardvareiki Castle, the interiors were filmed here at the Lytton Cobbold's family Tudor Manor, Nebward House in Hertfordshire. The house was chosen because its interiors have a real Scottish feel, from the richly decorated entrance halls filled with suits of armor to the dark wood paneling and exposed beams of the reception room. Thank you for watching.